on a lot of different teams at ResearchGate, there are people with um, scientific backgrounds. I, I studied biology, but um, there's plenty of people who completed their PhD in science or who worked as a postdoc for a long time. And I think what's also cool is that they, they bring the scientist's perspective into the decisions we make. My name is Ellie Zwick, and I'm a product analytics manager at ResearchGate. My name is Holly. Um, and I'm a data scientist at ResearchGate. Before I started at ResearchGate, I was actually an academic. Um, so uh, I was uh, in, in vaccine science, actually, um, and working on a, on a medical device. My name is Mareike. I uh, work at ResearchGate as a product manager. Before coming to ResearchGate, I did a PhD in neuroscience. I worked for five years in the lab and um, really enjoyed that kind of work, but over the time realized that I don't want to stay in the lab forever. We try and maintain as much contact with researchers as possible through um, user interviews and directly talking to scientists. I mean, the world the world of science is largely data driven. You know, in any um, paper, there's um, a lot of information about data that's been collected and how it was handled and how it was used to make a decision. And really, um, at ResearchGate, especially in the product analytics team, we're doing the same thing. As a product manager at ResearchGate, I work in a big interdisciplinary team. So we are a lot of software engineers, a user researcher, designers, um, uh, product analysts, and um, we basically look out for the uh, problems that our users have or generally problems that researchers face in their day to day. And we uh, try to find opportunities for how to solve those. One thing that I uh, also found frustrating working as a researcher is that you spend so much time by yourself in the lab um, when you're working in a niche field and in your like, direct environment. There is not so many other researchers around that are working on the same topic. And for that, I think also ResearchGate is a really good opportunity because you can identify more people um, from your community and connect with them. One of the, the moments that still sticks with me about the first time I used ResearchGate in, in, in quite some time was that I looked up a paper that um, I was very familiar with. This thing had been core to my scientific life. I worshipped this paper. I poured over every word of it. It was so critical to my day-to-day -day existence and I used so much of it. But um, the first time I saw this person's face was when I went and found this paper on ResearchGate. I'd never met this person, but still they'd had so much influence in my life. And for the first time, they were a human being for me and I could see the rest of their work easily and kind of who they've worked with and, and like really understand a bit more ab about them. What ResearchGate is trying to do is facilitate these connections, you know, show you, show you other researchers who might be relevant to you, whose research you might find interesting, or maybe show you a job ad that could help you further your career, or even um, understand the, the impact of your publications within the scientific ecosystem. Every single person on all of these teams across ResearchGate is working to make sure that we are, you know, making choices to help make the lives of researchers easier.